I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question which has been posted by my subscriber. Let me thank him first for that. The question here is evaluate y equals to e to the power of i pi. Now here the exponents which we have are in the domain of complex numbers. So we are talking about complex exponents. Okay, to evaluate this, I'm going to use Euler's formula. So let me give you a few things which may be new for many of my subscribers since uh, most of my subscribers are high school students who have not done all this, right? So, uh, so Euler's formula basically is e to the power of i y equals to cos y plus i sine y right now in this formula this i which i'm saying complex exponent i is the imaginary part uh, which is basically equals to square root of minus one right so most of the time we have been talking about real numbers in that domain uh, there is no solution for such a thing so we move on to the complex numbers domain where i is equals to square root of minus 1 or you can say i square is negative 1 right so so in the in the numbers when we talk about complex domain we do have a solution for square of a number being negative right so that with that background i think i should be in a position to explain uh, the solution of this or evaluate this now let me also tell you that we will taking we'll be taking up Taylor series since there have been a lot of uh, AP calculus students who need it and uh, this formula can be derived from Taylor series so I'll take up this Taylor series and uh, we'll also derive this particular formula so at present for the time being uh, I'll just use the formula and uh, calculate the value it is indeed a very very important result and therefore I didn't want to keep it pending so the formula here is e to the power of i y is equals to cos y plus i sine y right is cos y plus i sine y now you can see the exponent is i y now I'm going to replace y with pi. So we want to find what is e to the power of i pi, correct? So we'll replace this y with pi. So what we get here is cos of pi plus i sine of pi, correct? Now cos of pi is negative 1 and sine of pi is 0. And therefore what we get is negative 1. So here is a very, very important result. We are saying e to the power of e to the power of i pi equals to negative 1, right? So that is the answer. But here is the most important result. Uh, let me write that result here, okay, on this side. So we've done the question, right? So the answer is e to the power of i pi is equal to minus 1. And the result which I am talking about is, I'll write this minus 1 on the left side. So what we get here is that e to the power of i pi plus 1 equals to 0. Now here we have all the very important numbers which we had been talking about. Do you see that? The base e i pi 1 and 0 now they play huge role in mathematics right and we have all of them connected with this particular solution so that's why it has a huge significance in mathematics i'm anil kumar if you like you can put some likes and share and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best and let me first again thank my subscriber for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.